How's it going everybody? David Hedge here, House Hedge Gaming. We are back. It's 2022 and what better way to start off the videos than checking out Big Lick Comic Con here at the Berglund Center right here in Roanoke, Virginia. This convention is one of the up and coming conventions on the East Coast that celebrates everything pop culture. So we're going to see the vendors, we're going to check out the guests, we're even going to see some big battle cats and who knows what else we're going to be able to find. So let's go in here, check out everything that's Big Lick Comic Con and then I'll catch you at the end of the video and give you my thoughts on this great event that is right here in the Roanoke Valley. And you just are living that life. We don't, you can't really plan for the future sometimes. You just gotta like try to do the best you can do in the moment and hopefully you create something that will impact your life and maybe even impact the world. Uh, but find your voice, find your story. Like you do have to go after it with all your heart. And that's, that's it. Thank you. Well, I just got back from Big Lake Comic Con 2022 at the Berglund Center, and it was a great time in pop culture. Um, I really loved how everything was set up. Uh, they had the Battle Cats set up. They had Blue Ridge Nightmares, which is a haunted house here in Roanoke. The guests were awesome. I got to see Al Snow and Dante Vasco. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Al Snow is a professional wrestler, but also he's an actor, and he's a trainer slash owner of OVW who is a feeder system for WWE. Dante Basco, a lot of people know him as Prince Zuko from Avatar, The Last Airbender, uh, the animated series, but for me, he is Rufio from Hook. And I was able to get his autograph from my wife, Cindy, who's working the event at the Berlin Center at the box office. So I wanna make sure I got her something uh, because unfortunately she's not able to meet Rob Williams, but she was able, 
I was able to at least get Dante Vasco's uh, autograph on a picture of Rufio and Robin. Uh, and it was really cool. And he's a great guy. If you get a chance to meet him in person, do it. If you get the meet, chance to meet Al Snow or any of the celebrities that they had uh, for this year's or for this part of the year's Comic-Con, definitely do it. It's well worth it. Uh, my only two nitpicks with the con, one, somebody should have been looking over the line because there are people that thought they could buy their ticket when they got to the front line, but they were told they had to go to the gate uh, three or box office three, and then they had to go to the back of the line. And so that caused a little bit of feel bad for people. Uh, the other thing is that if you're a resident of the Roanoke Valley, you're starting to notice all the people that come to the convention and they're set up in the same booth. So you don't have too much differenti uh, differentiality. Uh, I hope that's the word <laughs> that I'm looking for. Uh, from vendors that are attending. So you don't have that wide variety of different vendors coming in. You might have, it might be a 50-50 split. And that's okay because you might have people that have those vendors that they want to go back to every single time to see if they got new stuff. But you also want to give people a chance to get in there who haven't had the chance to get their foot in the door. But that's something that we said for every convention, uh, like Gen Con, Origins, the bigger ones like that. You're going to have those same stalwart vendors that are there each and every year. The biggest thing, though, is that if they're game designers or people that are like bigger stores, like if you have Star City Comics and Games, or if you go to um, Gen Con, like you have Troll and Toad, Past Times, uh, God, there's so many different ones. But like the bigger ones you can see at those conventions, their booths will change and you'll see new products. But a lot of times the bigger companies that have the new releases, they'll have like all the different setups for their booth and everything. Big like Comic-Con, you don't really see that. But then again, it's still growing and I can't wait to see what happens with Big League Comic-Con in the years to come. So, uh, but if you get a chance to do it, if you're on the East Coast, Come on down to Roanoke. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff you can go into. There's a lot of great food you can do, uh, enjoy. You get to go to different places here in Roanoke. Uh, it's really a fun time if you are into comic books, action figures, anything pop culture. It is a great convention to check out. And the prices are inexpensive. It's $16 a ticket for each day. You can get a weekend pass for $25. Bucks. And there's even a little upgrade you can get to be a VIP to where you get an hour extra in on Saturday, so you get to be in there before a lot of other people can uh, come in and snatch up any of the good deals that you can find, but also you get a chance to go to the guests before it starts getting too hectic, so. But Big Lake Comic Con, I can't wait to see what happens in the fall. Uh, but thank you guys for checking out this video. Uh, I'll have more videos coming up. I got some unboxings. I'll be unboxing uh, The Hunger First Edition, which is from Renegade Games, a game by Richard Garfield. I have Radlands I'll be unboxing. I should be getting Wonderlands War soon. Uh, and I'll be going to Gen Con. I just got done signing up for Gen Con's uh, housing portal. And for the first time ever in my life at Gen Con, I'm going to have a hotel downtown within walking distance of the convention center. It is going to be awesome and amazing. And I cannot wait to bring that to you guys. And hopefully, maybe, I'll be able to be there at Gen Con. And maybe somebody will see these videos and they'll go, hey, seeing you on YouTube. Awesome. Uh, so this is my March to Gen Con starting today, February 13th, 2022, as we get ready to go to the big convention. It's the 55th anniversary of Gen Con, and I cannot wait to attend. But until then, uh, I'll be having a bunch of unboxing videos, a little bit of magic sprinkled in, a little bit of other stuff here in the Roanoke Valley, and who knows what other stuff I'll be getting into. But if it's anything that's pop culture related, Hey, I'll be here and I'll be more than glad to share my love of gaming and wrestling and pop culture with you guys. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, everything you need to do to get the word out that House Hedge Gaming and David Hedge are here for all of your gaming and pop culture needs. But until next time, stay safe and take care.